What's up, everybody? The Boxing Source checking in, and I'm with a great guest as he is preparing for his upcoming bout March 30th against Sergei Boachuk for the WBC Super Welterweight title. It is the towering inferno, Sebastian Fandora. What's going on? How you doing, boss? Hey, doing good, man. Doing, doing good, good, man. Doing good. You're getting ready for this uh, bout just seeing on here, March 30th. You're getting ready for how this uh, bout March 30th. Uh, you know, how are you bout? feeling going into this particular bout? I feel good. I feel good. We're ready for uh, this first title fight, and uh, we're here to make a, a, another statement like usual. Ah, gotcha. I know that you're coming off of what happened last year, but you get right back into the thick of things with the WBC title on the line. And you know that there's a whole lot on the line for this one going up against Bohachuk. And seeing that you're pretty familiar with Bohachuk as you were able to spar with him for, for a few times. So what was that experience working with him for a couple of times in the gym? It was good. It was good work. You know, uh, um, it was in Big Bear, the summit. It was a, a lot of fighters coming in and out at the time. And it was just good work, you know, all around. I was younger back then, too, 18, 19. And... Uh, you know, it was, it was just great work. Great work between the two. Ah, uh, yeah. And Boachuk had mentioned that you have improved a lot since then. And like I said, uh, maturing as a fighter and being more complete as a fighter. Now, what have you seen in Boachuk that may have been a difference from what you experienced at the time that you did spar with him? I would imagine just experience. But other than that, I, I couldn't say it. Uh, I don't really watch one, none of his fights. You know, they weren't televised or anything, so I didn't really keep up. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Now, going back to the fight that you had last year against Brian Mendoza, what did you learn from that particular fight that you could take with you as far as improving as a fighter, if anything? It's not really a learning experience. It's just more of a reminder, you know, um, you fall asleep for a second, you're going to pay for it. And uh, at this level of in the sport, you know, you really, really, really got to pay attention to us. Oh, yeah. And once you get that pretty much down, you'll be sharper and more focused here in your body against Boho Chuck on March 30th. And like I said before, with there being a lot on the line, WBC title on the line, that puts you right back in there among the top fighters in the 154-pound division. Going into this bout against Boachuk, do you feel there may be a little bit of added pressure, or do you believe that this is another fight where you think, as long as I take care of business, I should be able to come out on top? Of course. That's how I always feel. You know, everything we do in the gym, uh, we cross all our T's and dot our I's. You know, by the time I get to the fight, I just need to do what I need to do and and stay focused, of course, and, and win the fight. Gotcha. Now, are you still training in the Big Bear area or is it somewhere else in California or something like that? Yeah, in the mountains of Tachapi. So it's, it's, it's kind of like Big Bear, but it's our own thing, you know. Oh, so it's a case where it's more about you trying to stay focused or stay away from any distractions and you would just be focused on your fights? Yeah, of course. You know, I always felt I was focused, but this is even times 100. I have my own dojo right here. Okay, okay. Oh, with your fight being for the WBC title at 154 pounds, I know that there's another bout that's part of the pay-per-view card, which is the headline bout. You got the WBO champion Tim Zhu in action against Keith Thurman. Are you going to try to keep an eye on that bout once you get through the fight with Brohachuk? Because, hey, that could be a future opponent for you. Yeah, I, I think that's going to be a... Uh... A semi easy fight for for Sue. I think he's gonna win, uh, fairly easy, honestly. But uh, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna pay attention. My fight's gonna be right before it, so I'll probably be celebrating with my family. Maybe, maybe talking to the fans, getting some PR in. Now you had a recent experience with your sister Gabriella Fandora, who was in the ring last month. 
How is it being in a corner and watching her win that fight? Oh, it's, it's been good. I, I, all these past fights with my sister, I, I've kind of been in a corner. I think maybe the first two were the only ones I haven't been in the corner with, but uh, I'm always there with her, you know, always having her back. And uh, the fact that, that she's a world champion, a defending world champion, you know, it, it, it's nice to see it, you know, especially with the crowd last time, they were all for her uh, and she looked sensational. It, it, was, it was a good feeling. That's what's up. Now, I did have one fan question here before I go on, and they asked, who is your favorite athlete, whether it's inside or outside of boxing, and why are they your favorite athlete? Hmm. Favorite athlete? So it's always going to be a boxer, you know, this is the sport I'm in. Right now, my favorite athlete is uh, Arthur Betterbeef. You know, he's just crushing everybody. He's He's on top. He's on top right now. So he might not be on the pound for pound list, but he's definitely uh, something to watch in boxing. And, you know, seeing how he works and stuff like that, you can see why he he's at where he's at. Well, at the very least, he's on the boxing source pound for pound list. So at least we have that. And uh, maybe after you go through a couple of fights here and there, you could work on being on that list as well. You just got to make sure you take care of business against Bohachuk and you'll be well on your way. Now, you did mention the thing there with Tim Zhu. He's a WBO champion at 154 pounds, and there's a few other things that had to be sorted out at 154. But after this March 30 fight against Bochuk, what would you think about a fight with Tim Zhu in the future? I think it would be great. I think it would be a, a big fight, probably one of the bigger fights at 154. Um I talked to his, whether his manager, promoter, I don't know, at that last Wednesday. And uh, we were talking about it at maybe after this fight. Who's, who knows? We'll see what, what's to come. Ah, uh, that's what's up. But, of course, you have your bout coming up March 30th. That'll be in Las Vegas against Sergei Bohachuk on Amazon Prime Pay-Per-View. We're definitely looking forward to that. And one last thing. Let the fans know where you can be followed on social media as you have one month before your fight takes place. So for those that want to follow you, go ahead and drop those social media handles. You can follow me on Instagram at Seb Fundora. That's probably the only one I'm on, really. <laughs> but yeah, just make sure you tune in March 30th on pay-per-view, Amazon Prime.